Well hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. Today I will quickly show you how to change your RAM, random access memory. Um, basically install new ones, so let's go. Now uh, the first thing you need to keep in mind is what uh, version of RAM you bought. And um, you know, you need to have the correct DDR um, version for your motherboard. And my motherboard uses DDR4, so this is DDR4 RAM, which uh, is the most common type now. But if you have an older slash newer motherboard, uh, there are you know, other types. DDR5 is soon coming out and DDR3 is still much in effect. Anyhow, uh, you need to make sure it's the right model, otherwise it won't work on motherboard. Uh, most motherboards use full-size RAM. A few motherboards use uh, computer, uh, portable computer-sized RAM, which is much smaller. So check that before you buy RAM. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is plug out your computer. Make sure your computer is plugged off, uh, plugged out, and uh, turned off. And that's already done. So then you just open it up, uh, tilt it conveniently to the side, so that you easily can access its components. And you also want to have good lightning here. So uh, it can be tricky to get out the RAM, so you should uh, remove parts if they do block you from uh, reaching the RAM. So I will remove this fan now. Alright, now we have removed some parts so we see a little bit better. And now you need to click a special little button on one of the sides of the RAM. You see there and there. Uh, Full-size motherboard has uh, four of these. Small motherboards has only two. So click that thing until it says a little click or a little sound. You notice when they move. And uh, in any case, you want to have good lighting when you work so you don't mess something up. And then you just carefully take in the sides, there is a little place you can drag them and you just remove them like that or on the side, just drag them out of there so you see that uh, one side of them is uh, longer and one side is shorter look down below on your motherboard and you'll notice um, how to orient them and then you just carefully fit them in there just right in the slot and then you click down the side which doesn't have a button first you click that, uh, push that down and then you click on the other side until you hear a nice clicking sound and if it's properly pushed down in this side and if it says click in this side it means you have installed it properly so you just uh, do the same thing again okay we just fit it in carefully like that and uh, then we got them in the tracks we push it down and then we make sure it's firmly down in that side and then we just click it in that side make sure they're secure and now we should have installed the RAM so we can now put back the fan and any other connections that you might have had to remove and then just start up your computer normally all right and then now it's installed in there also note that on some other boards you'll have to click a thing at both sides. They might have this little button lever on both sides, but many only have one side. Anyhow, push it down straight, make sure it's, click, uh, it's down in one position and then click it in the other. Or if it uh, needs to be clicked in both, you just push it down straight from the beginning and make it them click simultaneously if possible. Alright, so when you start your computer for the first time it might restart a little slower than it usually does but then you can click delete or any other of those keys to get into BIOS um, and if you want to every BIOS is different but there are some few settings you can change if you want to. However the important part is you can see somewhere you have an information site, total memory 
and you should recognize the number that you try to install there. Uh, if you don't or if your computer doesn't start up, open it up again, make sure you install them correctly and uh, reboot your computer. Also make sure any other components inside the computer isn't disattached. Anyways, if you want to go to advanced memory settings, uh, you can go in here and uh, change settings, like for example setting it to uh, uh, fast boot mode or something this, this, this uh, motherboard has, or enhanced mood also. In any case, uh, you know, in most cases it's better to just leave them and uh, start the computer normally. And there you go. Computer starts up normally and uh, is it as, as it should. So you can just uh, log into your computer and uh, everything, everything should be fine basically. So that's how you install ROM, pretty basic. Not much to it, uh, now RAM is installed, everything works fine and uh, well that's how you do it. If you like this video, if it helped you, please leave a like and check out our other videos. In any case, this is Jim Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.